this one, so I know how fast I can fly past the slides. Okay, all right, some, some didn't make it, okay. So basically, um, I'm only adding on to Connie and Casey's slide because when I was looking through the time, I was like, oh, this is so good. Why was I in Paris? Why did I miss all of this? So yeah, I'm taking you guys through all of it again. Okay. So the first source is just a run through, okay? If you already forget. Can I know, uh, since those of you have already attended, who here, let's do with a female person, who is an inverted triangle? Anybody? Wait, inverted triangle. Okay, wait, maybe in the answers. Do you guys know what your body shape is? <laughs> don't know. Don't know. <laughs> round? Round is a shape. Round is uh, this shape. Oh, shape. Okay, so I think most importantly, you need to know what shape you are first. If you don't know what shape you are, come and ask me or Connie later because there is a specific measurement. It's going to be very specific. If not, Connie and Katie's guys is then no, okay, you're the shape. Because you need to dress according to your shape in order to uh, like make your features the best. Any pear shaped girlies over here? Pear shaped. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hourglass? Yeah, she, I'll go last two. Oval shape, strong shoulders, big tummy. No la. And then his shape is straight. Oh, we have a lot of his shape people. Okay, I have a guys. Any trapezoid body shape? Wait, the, the guys know what shape? Which one? First one. This is a trapezoid. So you can see the top is very wide and then the hip is like that. Usually, this is very common among guys who only shoulder the blue leg day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think Gerald is actually from this one. But he's natural from this one. Yeah, then rectangle, my husband. Anybody else rectangle? Okay, remember your body shape, huh? because later you will know what to do. And you're shape. You're not full of spikes, even though you have spiky stuff in your own Okay, then over body shape. No, I don't think anybody here. A uh, triangle. Triangle is wider hip and narrow shoulder. Okay. And, and then inverted triangle, which is a buffer version of trapezoid. Because this one, <laughs> don't even watch. That's why don't have this. <laughs> don't have this. Okay. So now, um, I'm just going to walk through this really quickly. So, shape, uh, people, you want to remember because later you're going to pick and choose. So, uh, why it's only one person here is because I'm just going to quickly take you through the theories about. Today I'm going to focus on three things. Fit, and I forgot the other two. No good small. Okay, that's my good fit, color, and what are the things you need to pay attention to, like accessories and all that stuff. Because they've really done a great job with the overview. Okay. So, hey, shape people. Remember, you want to create shape in the body because you are straight. Uh, most of the time, there's few silhouette that you want to go for. But to make it look interesting, we don't want to be like just straight. Uh, unless you are Japanese people. Kimono is straight. They don't like shape. Okay. So, uh, in the triangle people, you want to create this with as much as you can. So you will see that actually you will wear quite a lot of pattern going on. Okay, to make it more even. Uh, you will see a lot of the Angkor pictures or even a lot of the Asian pictures. We quite like our glass figure. That's why we always find ways to cinch in on the waist. Okay, later uh, we are going to have one volunteer which we haven't talked to the volunteer about yet. We prepared to be games. Okay. Uh, to help us to just see, because uh, later we're going to have a practical session, right? I'm only going to spend less than 15 minutes on this, so I'm zooming past this as well as I can. Then later you guys are going to try out the clothes. Yeah. And we're going to take for the clothes, okay? Remember the MS, right? So we want to see what works for you, what doesn't work for you, what color work for you, what fit work for you, whether the clothes that you're wearing need to go after or not, okay? After very cheap, only then 15 bucks can get ready, okay? Our last figure, namely shoulder and the is about the same, smaller waist. So don't wear anything that actually make you look too straight. You know, you lose out on that. Okay, nobody's oval shape. This is men. Uh, trapezoid men. So oh. Gerald cannot wear anything too short that's above your hip bone. When you buy clothes, if you have anything lesser than your hip bone, your hip bone will not even be good. So you need to have your shirt longer. All right. 
And then in terms of pattern for guys, I see got a checker gentleman here. And then she was also wearing a little bit of checkered. Okay, so if you're wearing checkered, if your upper body generally is bigger than your lower body, you must make sure you have big checkers. If your checkers are very small, then you're gonna look your body will look bigger than your checkers. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna go through layers. Okay. If you actually this shirt and this shirt, right? It's same cutting and same design, right? But just by adding a layer, you look totally different. So usually in Malaysia, guys don't wear layers much. Yeah. They always only wear one, usually maybe just t-shirt or something like that. But actually, if you wear short, short sleeve shirt, it's actually still nice looking, but not so hot one. Okay, and then another thing that I want to talk about is uh, for men, for men, right? When you wear when you wear shirt like this, do you guys remember our father's generation? They always wear a uh, in English it's called wife beater inside. <laughs> the singlet, singlet, singlet. The wife does this, okay? The English word is called a wife beater. Yeah, 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 the singlet, okay? Uh now what these guys don't wear it anymore. It's uh, underwear. Yeah. It's like women wear bra, guy wear singlet. Same thing, okay? So if you can, nobody wanna see the two dots. <laughs> Same thing for women. <laughs> I, 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 I know about this kind of stuff. Then I said, I think the whole point is like with a family, right? We need to talk about things that other people will tell you, okay? For yeah. girls, you want to talk underwear later if you wanna ask me because underwear is very important, okay? All right, then uh, nobody's over shaped, so I'll skip through that. And then this one is a video. Let's go. Ah. Mm. Welcome to the main event. Yeah. Applying pressure, but I promise they ain't make it then. Uh. In their heads, living free. I ain't paying rent. Wake up in. So you can see just from just normal pants. Actually, the clothes that he wear is not like extra nice or anything. Yeah. Just learning to mix and match, learning to style it is very important. So uh, later, I think probably if it's okay, I will probably throw in some of these videos into the group chat so you guys can have a reference. Oh, look, this, you see? Oh, did such a great job. Did I have to do this? Okay, I need to really wear Okay, this, this is my pet peeve. Guys, when you wear shoes, Sport shoes need to wear what socks? Dark. Yes, wear short socks. Don't wear sport shoe and wear long socks. Okay? If you wear dress shoe, you need to wear long socks. When you wear dress shoe, don't wear sport socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to zoom in on this. Make sure you cut your nose. Okay? For men, uh, you know that for men, because of hormones, right? Uh, as men ages, their hair here will start to go thinner, and go here and here. <laughs> so as you continue to age, make sure that you trim these two areas, okay? Because all this is like hygiene stuff, uh, huh? We are, we are we are in the business where we meet people. The first impression is very important. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For ladies, our eyebrows frame our face. Okay, so if there's one makeup skill you need to learn, is draw your eyebrows right, your skin, you eat, you drink your gut reset, and you drew your super chin there. Really good now. So make sure you learn how to draw your eyebrows. Uh, Indian, very lucky. I'm really very nice. <laughs> Just the shape. So nice. Okay. Yeah, so guys, if you don't have much hair, Actually, uh, drag Daniel to go trending as well. Most of the men generally have more hair, but but okay, Indian don't need to worry. It's always the Chinese that have much hair. Okay, for the Chinese, right? Most of the time, you will see a very firm shape over here, and then the back end. If you don't have that, draw that. Same like women also same one. Okay, makeup is so important for guys and girls because it gives you that. Feeling when people look at you. If not, you'll just look tired or something. Okay, for hair, we won't go into it today because uh, if you want to know whether your hair fit you or not, you take a picture of your face and then you cut the face up and then you put like that. 
And then you see which one looks good on you. Then you see that one looks really strange. I remember to the hair and This one looks too long for me. And I said, yes, okay, then cut one. Well. Okay, don't just cut like guys put on a little bit. No, the girls always, always like, you see, this one got curl a bit, got color a bit. Guys will do something different now. No? I think easier maintenance. Okay, clean fingernails. This one I shall not go further. Common sense, okay. Improve your breath. Uh, perfume is always the great. Thing. Sometimes when people walk past, they may not look at you, but sometimes when they walk out, they don't look. <laughs> okay, so people were a lot of uh, people associate memories with scent. Yeah. Yeah. So if you constantly is already a pleasant person, sometimes when they smell something, they will think of something. It's like when they smell during our objective. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Not about you. A few days ago. <laughs> okay. Now, body odor. Okay. This is something always a very sensitive topic to talk about. Okay. Um, because only the people that love you the most will tell you about it. But regardless, even if you don't have a uh, body odor in my team. There's a few people that generally don't have body odor, even when you sweat, you don't have smell. But when you use the our deodorant, it just feels so good. Yeah. yeah. So then we use it anyway. So if you are not having the habit of using deodorant, make sure to use our deodorant because other brand deodorant will usually darken your skin if they have alcohol content. Okay. Right. Then handbags. Unfortunately, today only got three handbags, so there's not much to play with. For men, you can actually use bag for styling as well. Pouches, uh, strap bags, or stuff like that. Okay? Don't use a primary school bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So, for, for women, right? For women and men as well, okay? Because women usually have that accessory. Men also can. But you want to remember one thing, okay? Uh, there is small handbag. handbag. Big handbag, of course, is very functional. Uh, and there's different usages for it. If your body is generally bigger size, don't choose a small handbag. Because the handbag will make you look bigger. But of course, don't make a, don't make a Ikea bag. La. <laughs> okay, don't need so big or so. Functional, proportion, proportion. Okay? There's a lot of different shapes and sizes that different people are suitable for for different occasions. Uh, we will talk about it more next time. Okay? Uh, find your own personality. Do, do people already know actually what kind of style that you like to wear? My one is confirm amnesia. This is not my... <laughs> this is weird for me. <laughs> do you guys know what style do you guys usually wear? Okay, so if you don't know, if you don't know, explore. Okay? okay, explore. Because when you explore, then you get to see another side of you. Your clothing, a lot of the times, determine your mood. A lot of times when I'm in a bad mood, again, dressing up doesn't come as a first nature for me, but I like to do a lot of research. So in my safe Instagram, I have this folder. You guys can do it too, okay? If you share or anything like that. Simple stuff like how to style a blazer, how to mix and match colors, how to do your hair, how to tie a scarf, or how to tie your shirt, how to tuck in your shirt neatly. All these kind of tips and tricks it's very useful that you don't need to spend extra money on that helps you to look good. We're going to share more later. Okay? But find your style. Because when you find your style, then every time people look at you, there's a branding with it. Uh, if you're very consistent like me, if you see me on Thursday and you see me today, it's a totally different person. Okay? But uh, try to work in progress. Okay? Everybody, we always work to become a PMS. Maybe you should do before. Yeah. And don't wear everywhere. But most <laughs> important. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to feel like this is a personal conversation. <laughs> okay. This is key. It's very confident about it. Okay, so this was the style that I'm telling you about, but you can go more about it later. I shall walk through this very quickly since you guys have already done through this. Now, men, you're very simple only. There's only few things 
There's casual, smart casual, business casual, business professional, and cocktail attire. Yes, cocktail attire is usually a three-piece suit. Uh, your suit, your vest, your pants, and that. Okay, this one maybe don't have blazer. This one is uh coat over whatever, and this is you want no coat. Okay, very simple. I prepared uh these are like some. This is whatever that was previously prepared. Okay. So handsome. Make me want to touch him. That's the point, okay? When people when people see, right? When people see you look so good and they want to touch you, then you know doing it right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Business casual, business professional, cocktail. All right. But when it comes to your wardrobe, this is something that is very important, which uh Casey and Connie mentioned about. Uh, they say three years and above, not wearing it anymore, then get rid of it. For me, it's six months. Every six months, renew your wardrobe. Meaning, if I haven't worn it for six months, unless it's sentimental value, I will donate. Because in my house, my wardrobe is only one IKEA closet. But that two down on me. Okay? And it's, I, because we're so lazy to fold clothes, we don't fold clothes, we hang all of our clothes. There's top tier and bottom tier. And bottom tier is pajamas. Traditional wear and then pick wear all the way. Then the top one is the outside clothes, the dresses and all that. So um, whenever I only have a certain amount of hanger, if I don't have hanger and I want to buy new clothes, I have to donate something else out. Okay, so that does not make sure you have 600 pieces of clothes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, make sure you make sure you refresh your wardrobe. Uh, at the moment, maybe at different point of your life, you want to chase after quality more, which is why we need to go into capsule water more. Um, make sure that you choose quality pieces, even though Shein and Shopee is so tempting. But yes, invest in something. Invest in something that you can buy for ten years. This coat is eight years old. Wow. Yeah, and at the time it was only like two hundred bucks. Now two hundred bucks, I don't know what they can buy. But yeah. If you buy something, if I bought a 10 ringgit blazer, I probably have to change five ringgit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, be more environmentally friendly and less headache for shopping if you buy quality pieces. Okay. Ah, this one comes to styling. Have you guys seen this before? No, right? Ah, here comes a special part. Okay. So if you look at what she's wearing, it's all the same white color shirt. Everybody has a white color shirt, I suppose. Okay, but you can see if you just wear like that, you look like a boring OL, right? But what she added is she added a different shape of the dress to create an A line. We want to create as much shape as we can over here, and then she put on her vest to increase the contrast. She actually has a bag over here, but you can't see it yet. It's a gray color bag. So anybody here love to wear black? Do you always wear all oh, black? Okay, good, because we don't want to all look like a shadow. So <laughs> make sure that you add layers. So what she's doing over here is she's adding layers and she's adding shape to give her look longer in legs and then give her more shape in the body over here. So this one over here is totally going. People always think that formal shirt only can have formal look, but you can see the way that she dressed over here is very romantic. This is very romantic, like very good for dates. You know, maybe uh, the guys should dress your sister or your wife or your friends. That is a super romantic thing to do, okay? But I put the letter and say, wear this later, I bring you something else. Uh, that's every girl's secret dream. Unless you have bad taste. <laughs> okay? This one, you see, is the same outfit. She just acts some head and then she looks like she's holiday ready. Okay? But what she wanted to emphasize over here is, you can see that when she looked taller here, right? From here to here. This one also has a posing element into it, okay? But what she did over here is she added a triangle. Meaning, when you realize actually guys when you wear coat, right? You actually only button the top button. You don't button all the way, right? Because you have to create this triangle. When you create this triangle, you look much taller, okay? That's what she's doing over here by adding a triangle, right? And then another thing is posing, like When you pose like that, right? You look, if you're a hitch, then you look lucky more hitch, so. Whenever you are posing, you are actually always trying to create triangles with your body. So you can see she created one triangle here, and she created another triangle here. By slanting the body, she's also more tilted inside. So just little things like this, when you pose, it looks really good on pictures. Okay, this is the all black fan. 
black bag, black top, black pants, probably black shoes also. So whenever you dress, always find a point in what you want. Uh, so in the case, she chose her back to be the point. In this case, even though it was the all black, she added a point on this. This is like a, I don't know, in Buzhangji, it's called Yunjian. I don't know in modern terms, it's not. Collar, yeah, fake collar, oh, fake collar. See, yeah. Okay, then again, same one. Formal shirt can become casual. What she did over here, she has scarf. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a scarf today. Tell me about that. No, I only have a scarf that can tie around my back to make it look like less boring. Okay, the scarf that you can add into your collar to make it look more interesting. Okay, this one is just about, uh, this is a video. Okay. Just learning how to tuck in your shirt and reach is how the quality fits you. This one looks like it doesn't fit you, but this one looks like it's loving for you. Okay, so the fit is what is different. This one. Make use of a back strap stuff. is so genius is because there's an unspoken rule for men you match your belt to your shoes so the brown belt brown shoes black belt black shoes okay for women we usually match your bag to your belt and your shoes but there's no hard and fast rule for it if you wear a black bag brown belt and a blue shoe it's too many colors so it's going to be very distracting okay this one talks about uh i think this applies for men as well okay the longer your legs are covered, the lesser fabric your shoe should cover your foot. Yeah, okay. So because the skirt is so long, but you wear the shoe, it looks so bulky. This one also a little bit bulky. So the baggy more bulky. So you want to keep it simple as you can. Okay. This one talks about surfaces. Everybody, guy or girl, should have one pair of white shoe. And if it's dirty, please clean it. Don't make it become yellow shoe. Okay, so this is the same one. So when you wear a heels like this, you want to keep, don't have so many things to distract you because the whole idea of shoes and the thing is you want to try to create as long a body as you can. Okay, for guys, you can choose to wear loafers. Loafers is always a good thing to wear. Okay, now for men on the left side, I want you to see over here how many tops they have, how many pants they have, and how many pair of shoes they have? Anybody can answer. Two shoes. Okay. Four on top. Let me count. Five and four. Five. Two short, long pants. A three long There's actually pants. three shoes. This is belt. This is a belt. Sorry, the picture is small. This is a belt. Okay. okay. Yeah. So three pairs of shoes. All the guys have got three pairs of shoes. Got right? So you got three more than three looks already. How many of you have got three pairs of shorts? Three pairs of shorts. Got right? So again, you already have. Then here he, he only has two pairs or three pairs of long pants. One jeans, one black pants, one black color pants. Do you guys have it? Yeah. So if you have all these, you already have a capsule wardrobe. Okay. Then he only has one denim shirt. Two long shirt and two uh, polo t-shirt. You guys have it, right? So just make sure that all of this is a different color. The safest color to go with is blue, white, and gray. As long as you have all this, you already have the capsule wardrobe. If you have blue, white, and gray, they always look good with brown. Don't need to worry about it. So this one is for the women. Sometimes I see my sister's wardrobe is so black. <laughs> yeah, so then, but it's good, like, it's just one thing. 
So, but the thing is, you actually don't need a lot of clothes. If you look at this, all of this can actually fit in this closet already. Just one uh one door closet can already fit in. But like this can already give you more than 100 plus looks. Okay, so when you are wearing later, you can go and you can choose to see what you never thought would look good for you and mix it together. Okay, for shoes, we only need a few. A little bit of a high heel, a sandal, a closed toe shoe, uh, and then different bags for different occasions. One for formal, one for everyday use, one for work. That's it. I actually only have two bags. Yeah, pants, try different fit. You got a straight cut, white jeans, white cut skirt clothes you can do as much as okay so very simple like that so when you have a uh when you have a capsule wardrobe like this it's very simple for you to mix and match these two pants are the same pair of pants but you can see that the feeling that they give is so different and that two white tee is the same but just having we call them neutral colors white brown beige black are very neutral colors so keep them in mind Okay, this one is about uh, color tone and how you can style. So for guys, right, when you wear a blazer, you play with texture. Meaning, if your coat is this kind of a texture, your inside, if you wear silk, you already look oh, extra atas. If your outside is smooth, inside you wear a little bit rough, then oh, extra atas. Because the textural difference gives you sophistication. Yeah. Just two different textures, they do that more already. Okay? So, jacket. Uh, I believe everybody should have one black jacket, and if you have a tan jacket, that would be great. Okay? Then, in jacket, uh, not so suitable for this weather over here. These are cardigans, which is quite common uh, in Malaysia. Different cardigans will give you a different feel. Your body type will determine if you need a short cardigan or a long cardigan. Okay? So, I'm going to move through now. Colors. Anybody know what's the color wheel? Sure you did. We learned this in primary school. Okay, if you don't know how to match your colors, this <laughs> color wheel is something that will make you look damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just look at the color wheel. Okay. Uh, I usually sometimes I take a picture of this and I just see what would match. Because um, if you if you don't want to go wrong, lah, okay, you can always match two colors of the color wheel together and look uh, very good together. But you can see over here that in the color wheel, this is purple, this is yellow. She just stopped it and made it pastel. And you can see the purple, white, if she get a white color bag also okay, but because she used a yellow bag, it really makes pop up so much more. Remember the point piece that I was telling you about? Then, if, so if you want to have a point piece, always use the color wheel to help you. Another thing is monochromatic. A lot of times people think monochromatic, they think white, 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 black, 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 okay? But it doesn't have to be that way. Monochromatic, pro, mono means one, not chromatic means color, okay? If you choose one color, all of this, same color, no? Similar. Yeah, the base color is actually red. Based on the color wheel, the base color is actually red. So if you mix and match this same gradient of red color, you look damn at us. Okay, she's having a red back, a little bit pinkish, and then her shades also got some tinge of uh, pinkish red inside one, okay, with white. So simple things like this could add more colors into your body. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Basically, basically the video. Basically, the video is saying you guys want to totally need to buy, buy brown. Okay? Because any brown color stuff that you add will make you look more sophisticated. Yeah, anything brown. Okay, now I'm going to talk about fit. Um, whatever clothes that you buy, don't care whether it's cheap or expensive, alter it to fit you. Even if you buy a 5000 my husband bought a $1,200 jacket, it doesn't fit you. 
<laughs> so, no atas feeling already. If you will look, okay, wear clothes, you are supposed to wear clothes, right? Not the clothes wear us. The clothes are meant to help us to look good. But if it discount you, then it's, it's not what you want to do for your spa, okay? So, how to know whether the, the clothes that you wear fit you or not? When you look at pants, you look at the height of the ankle. So generally, if you wear high heels, your pants will be a little bit shorter than straight cut pants. Okay. For men, when you buy your shoe, when you want to wear with loafers, right? At least above your ankle, but nothing too high. Because what happens when you sit down? This will become short already. Yeah. So these are the things they take into account. This uh this is mainly for women. If you want to wear high heels with long pants, don't show off the whole shoe. They have to more sophisticated. Okay? For guys, this is good. This is I usually take it as a sign that they like men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then this one, same thing. What happens when you're when you wear we don't wear boots that much, lah, but generally just remember that when you buy pants, it should stop right above your ankle bone. Uh, that's why some people they actually roll up the pants and then look good. Okay. Then your coat. Who's wearing coat over here? You can stand up and see, okay? When you stand up, if your coat for men, right, this is your joint of your thumb. If when you put your hand down by your side and the joint of your thumb is the end of your blazer, that is the correct length of the blazer for you. Yeah, yeah. So if it's longer than that, then it's gonna be like too loose of a fit. Huh? Okay, then when you wear when you wear your coat, if the inside is not showing out, your coat is too long on the sleeve. Okay, this is how. Why we talk about all this, right? Because when you want to tailor make a coat, it's going to cost you above a thousand bucks. But there's sometimes some fit already fit you nice. This also works for women as well. It already fit your body well, right? You just need to try it out to find the cutting that fits well for you. Okay? Yeah. This is too tight. This is yum yum. If you see the this one over here is like got a indentation going on and there's a lot of slack going on over here, then you know it's too loose. Okay. So uh color and all that, I'm not gonna tell you so much about it. Different fabrics. Okay, uh, this is choosing your coat according to your shoulder width. If your shoulder width is very narrow, like men, okay. If your shoulder width is very narrow, or even women, you want to choose this is called a lapel. Your lapel needs to be thinner. Yeah. It should be proportionate. Doesn't mean bigger means better. Okay. So this one again talks about the fit. That one talks about whether you're suitable to wear a double breasted. Double breasted is one here, one here, four button one. Okay. Or you're meant to wear a single breast or no button at all. Okay. So now what I want you guys to do is I'm gonna invite uh Connie up. Let's give her a big round of applause. Uh, what I want you guys to do is move around, don't sit down anymore, okay? What I want you guys to do is take a picture of whatever you're wearing now. Anything there you can pick and wear and use. Use it. Okay, what I want you to do is try and pick something and then take a photo of how you look with it and how you look without. Then you will know how good you look and how doesn't what doesn't work for you. Okay. Come in, let's pick. Overall, the colors is how many can you count? Three, one, two, four, five. Four colors, actually, more than three colors considered. No? So, maximum is three colors. So, try to make it of fix as if laser color is more like atas. More atas, yeah. Yeah. If not, it will look like tong pei da, huh? 